first one is I bought someone from a condo through payment. So we agreed that I will be paying in two years. Then it was almost 110K USA dollar. Then when I paid like 28,000 and 500, something like that, uh, you know, the contract was two years. So the two years came, I couldn't make it. I just paid 28,500. Now he told me he's gonna pay me back that to eight thousand five hundred in the coming three months. So my question is, will I make payment? Will I make a zakar for that one again? I wanna just like save that money and then buy another condo. How will I make a zakat for that one? My second question, question is, for you. A question for you. You're the one who's still in the condo. No, I bought it. You do what? You bought it. Yes. You're the one who purchased the house, the condo. What is the intention yes. behind purchasing the condo? Is it for you to live in or to visit occasionally, yes. weekend, during summer? What is the purpose or investment? No, it was to leave me and my family. Okay. Then you still owe some money on the condo, right? It yeah, so it was 10, 110K. Then we were like close family that the guy who was selling. So then we agreed that, you know, I will be paying him in two years. I was making payment one and a half years. And then the contract, like the time came, like the two years almost ending. And then he said, like, you know, Said, you can't make this payment. I'm going to sell it to anyone, another person. And I will give you back the money. I said, okay. So now I was thinking like, okay. And now I'm thinking buying another condo saving this money again and then uh buying another one so like now he told me he's gonna give me back in three months how will i make will i pay the car or for that money uh you know there are actually too many things intermingling here so let's mm -hmm. talk about the money which you have with you right now regardless whether you're planning to buy another condo or you don't this is entirely up to you when do you normally pay your zakat? Uh, I don't have money to pay zakat. Hmm? You don't have money to pay zakat? Even before? Yes, I was... Yes. Fine. What about if I give a general answer and see what suits you? If I, Muhammad Salah, purchased a flat and on an installment, over two years, three years. And I have money which is zakat. I pay zakat every year. But it is understood that if I'm in debt, I don't pay zakat on the debt, on the loan. But now, the loan or the money which I have to pay for the installment or the flat is with me, and the installment is still over a year, two years. Then this money is zakat. I should pay zakat on this money as long as it is with me. You understand? Saeed? Yes, yes, Sheikh. Yes, I'm hearing you. You understand what I said? Yes. Okay. You want to ask another question or further clarification? Uh, a little bit further clarification because like this money I was making like paying every year, like every month, 1000 and then something like that. So, and still, you know, he didn't give me back the money, but I'm expecting to get like based on what he told me. So when I get that money on the spot, that 28,000, will I pay the scatter at that time or maybe wait another year from the only day? Only when one, only when one, look, if you received a million dollar right now, you don't pay zakat on it right now. We look into your history. Are you a person who used to pay zakat? Yes. But in your case, no. You said you, you never paid zakat. You don't have money to pay zakat, for instance. So you begin calculating from the day you receive this amount. Next year, same time according to the lunar calendar. Today is the 25th of Ramadan. 25th of Ramadan next year, I look into my position. 
and I start paying zakat, if the amount is zakat. If I have spent all the money that I have, and I ended up having less than $6,000, which is the value of 85 gram of gold, you don't owe any zakat. You don't owe any zakat. But if the money increased, even one day before the payment of the zakat, you pay the zakat on the entire amount. Barakallahu feekum, Saeed, from 